welcome back in this lecture we will set up SMTP null client in the previous lecture we set up SMTP server in this lecture we will set up a client for this SMTP server SMTP server was configured on IPA server so we will install the null client on system 1 and system 2 need to install postfix package <coughs> this package is already installed restart and enable the services and then open the configuration file set up my host name to system one dot example dot local or system one. This is the host name of this machine and set up the domain name my domain equals to example dot local. or my domain can be equals to dollar my domain sorry my origin can be equal to my domain my domain should be set to example dot local and my origin can be equals to example dot local or dollar my domain I net interfaces this should be set to loop back only it will not be receiving emails on this machine locally all the machines all the emails will be stored on the SMTP server the destination there are no destinations for this null client you will not be sending any emails the relay host Relay host should be set to the IP address of the SMTP server or the host name of the SMTP server. If we place it under the brackets, this means that it will not go for DNS lookups. Either we can place host name or the IP address. Both will work. navigate to this path and open this file with standard configuration all the configurations that we have just made are written under this file standard configuration db you can simply open this file and follow all the steps for null client configuration Post fix on a null client. These are the values that we need to change. During the exam, if you forget, you can always open this file and take the help. Check for the syntax errors. It says there is a syntax error, VLA host. I made a typing mistake, so we need to fix it. That should be delay host. And this time there are no errors. We can restart the services.
so we need to open another terminal where we will open the real time mail logs while we are testing the email services in this terminal we will receive the logs while we are sending the email from the second terminal so by doing this we don't need to, we will not be required to check the email from the destination from the logs we can see whether the mail has been sent or not subject is system1.example.token and the body is mail from system1.example.token and the mail is sent to user root the mail command is not present so we need to install the package mailx that provides this command We have sent the email. Let us see for the logs what is the status says. Status is equal to sent. <coughs> it says that the email has been sent. To verify it, we need to log in to the IPS server and see the mail from there. The queue is empty. This email has been dispatched to the server. 200, 250, okay. We can read this email from the IPA server where we have installed the SMTP server. So we will SSH to IPA server and see whether this mail is present on this machine or not there are two emails let's see the second email what says the subject is mail from system1.example.login this is the email that we just sent from the client thank you for watching this lecture